Okay, so today we're gonna to talk about why your pea traps in your home can lose water and allow sewer gas smell to come through the pipes. There's a few reasons why this can happen. I went ahead and, and I made a little mock-up here of a pea trap system. So you got your pea trap here, which has the water seal, goes into your sanitary tea, which could represent where the sink goes into. And then just for demonstration purposes only, this right here will represent the vent pipe that runs up the wall, through the attic, through the roof, and outside to let sewer gas smell out and to let your plumbing system breathe. Okay, so the first and most obvious way that a pea trap can lose water is if it's ever being maintenanced on and this gets tightened down too much, this bottom portion, it's this can crack all along here where these two pieces of plastic have been fused together. So it'll have a slow drip and that can over time allow enough water to exit the pea trap where the sewer gas can make its way out of your sink or whatever fixture it may be and into the environment. So another way that your pea traps can lose water is if it's a very windy day out, the wind when it blows over the roof can blow down your vent pipe and that can cause the water in the pea trap to bounce up and down and it can send enough water out of it down the drain where there's just a tiny gap between the water seal and the pea trap and that is enough to send sewer gas coming out and making that stench in your home. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to demonstrate to you just by blowing down this vent right here how that water can bounce. So you can see just how much that bounced just from me blowing on it. Now imagine if the wind is blowing harder than that all day, that's how it can lose enough water to allow a tiny bit of gap between the water seal and the pea trap. Okay, so another way that your pea trap can lose water is through capillary action. And that is if there is a foreign piece of material in the pea trap that's long enough to go into the drain, such as a string, or as I'm using to demonstrate a shoestring, or even a hair can do this as well. So basically what happens is the water will travel up whatever the, uh, the absorbent material is, and it will slowly drip down the drain until the seal is broken, which will allow the sewer gas to come out and create that stench in your home. So you can see on this close-up how the water is traveling up this shoestring and gathering right here on the end. And soon when that gets big enough, it will drip the rest of the way down the drain. And that will continue to happen until one of two things is either the water all disappears from the pea trap or you add more water by using whatever fixture this is. But if you're out on vacation or you're not home, it will go ahead and it will drain all of the water that the shoestring or whatever material it is, is in the water. So another way, which is probably the most simplest way, is just good old evaporation. You know, if it's a winter home or a vacation home, you're not there for a while, the water in your pea trap can just easily just evaporate out. So another way that the pea trap can lose water is through what's called siphonage. And I don't have an S-trap to be able to show you, but S-traps are banned virtually in every state now because basically what an S-trap is, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this fitting as an example, is the P-trap is in the shape of an S. I don't know if you can see that very well, but what happens is when water is going down the drain here, as it comes up and it goes through this last angle, the water pulls as it's falling and it pulls the water out of the pea trap and down the drain. So that's one way water can be siphoned out of a pea trap. Now another way that water can be siphoned out of a pea trap is further down this line here, if there's a toilet or another fixture that a lot of water pulls from and there's either no vent pipe or the vent pipe is blocked because there's some kind of obstruction in it then that water is going to look for a source to pull air from. And if it can only pull air from this, let's say this sink pea trap, 
well then when you flush that toilet it's going to pull this water out of this p-trap and down the drain and then you'll lose your water seal and that'll allow the sewer gas to come out now that was how a p-trap supposed to work if you like this video go ahead and comment down below Please subscribe, it really helps me out I'm trying to grow this channel and trying to keep bringing you guys these kind of videos and content. Thank you. Peace out.